Hi everyone, today it's all about battery degradation on the IONIQ 28 kilowatt hours. The car has 60,000 kilometers, that's about 37,000 miles. We're looking at how much battery capacity is left on the car. Now, the car battery state of health is supposed to be 100%, so let's check that. We use the fact that we drove down the car to just 3.5% state of charge and we charge the car throughout the night on slow charge from the wall box at home. Now we make a note of both the charge before and the charge after, again per readings from the car through the OBD dongle. And of course, we make a note of how much electricity came from the wall box. So the total wall to wall energy dispensed. So what do we get? We get 27.1 kilowatt hours charged on the battery. So that's the net battery capacity uplifted for 96.5% of the battery. The wall-to-wall -wall energy that was consumed was just 28.7 kilowatt hours, pointing to just shy of 6% of losses on charging, which would be the lowest I've ever seen. So slightly surprising. Now, what that gives us would be the equivalent full of 28.1 kilowatt hours for the battery, the usable capacity, and 29.7 kilowatt hours in terms of wall-to-wall -wall energy. So that would point to exactly zero degradation compared to the 28.1 kilowatt hours expected on the Hyundai 28, per the name. Now let's take it one notch further because I've actually made a few notes on a bunch of recharges over the last couple of months. Every time I charge 60, 70, 80% of the battery, I make a note of how much I've used in terms of wall-to-wall -wall energy, as well as the battery uplift in terms of the readings from the OBD scanner. I think this is more interesting because this gives us a set of data points the ionic car math is not a precise math game. I'm much more interested in the trends that we are seeing and whether we can repeat time and time again those measurements. What we see from here is there seems to be a form of compression towards the end and the curve is not purely linear. So if we look at the graph itself, I think it's the best possible illustration of what to expect. If you plot the energy charged against the state of display, you can see very good correlation, but not perfectly linear correlation. If you then zoom in to understand the extrapolation at 100%, you find that you would need about 29.5 kilowatt hours to charge the car in full using wall-to-wall -wall energy, and you would need about 27.5 or 27.6 kilowatt hours for the battery itself. This would be the capacity. Now that 27.6 would be the number I would use as reference for my current capacity, and it would put the degradation at less than 2% on the car. So that's my answer for now, measured in winter at 10 degrees Celsius, with about 8% of losses for charging across a number of sessions, I would argue that my 60,000 km car has less than 2% battery degradation. A fantastic outcome. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.